So the devs added an item to the game, and it's, it's this thing. This. This singular item has officially made Sen the easiest it has ever been, and the easiest it ever will be. Um, so I decided to make Sen 2kb3. Um, yeah, here you go. So I'm just gonna start making the setup. Uh, it's more or less the same concept as 2kv2. Um, I should also mention, if you have executive game pass, go ahead and place these walls around your base. Like so, just two edges. Place it six off, or four off, depending on how you want to count it. Or you can just place two, and then bam. And then on the corner over here, it's just diagonally. Two. Go ahead and do that, but only do that if you have executive game pass. Um, so to start, I'm gonna just make the first loop. You can use whatever mine you want. I'm gonna use Draconic Glass if I can spell. I'm gonna use Draconic Glass, use a normal one. Then go ahead and get an ore tracker. You can use premium or normal one. For the purpose of this, I'm gonna use this just because it's easier to see. Then grab a teleporter, I'm gonna use green and then place the receiver right here two off i believe it is right yes cannon go ahead and place your ore cannon and then you're gonna get the sensor sepulcher place it one away from the ore cannon with the conveyor facing this way grab a hydraulic ramp down and then you're gonna want to grab a conveyor just a normal basic conveyor will do uh, from here, go ahead and get some wall segments. It doesn't matter which ones. I'm just going to use glass and place them like so. And then get a ore evaluator. Yes, ore evaluator. I know some people aren't going to like that it has it in the setup because it's a contraband and it's expensive and it's from the masked man. But there's really no good workaround for this so it's best to just use an ore evaluator. If you want to try and use it without it, feel free, but I cannot guarantee that the setup will work unless you max it out with the Sinister. So after ore evaluator, go ahead and place an ore gate and then get a ramp. I just retype gate, get a ramp, converter ramp. Get a replicator, and then you're gonna get a orange teleporter sender or a teleporter of your choice i'm just gonna use orange and then here place a green sender and then go ahead and set the or evaluator to dtg and then set it to less than so this is the whole starting area right here this is all it is and from this point go ahead and just start sending your or through before you even get to the setup because odds are it's going to take a little while for some if any ore to get through all the way so just max it out let it run while you're building the setup all right and now it's maxed out um one other thing you can add if you desire go ahead and place a conveyor wall right here you don't need to it's just something you can do i like having it just because it fits so with this going, you can head to the other side of your base now, get an ore elevator, place it at the edge, I believe it is one off and two up, get a Freon bombardment or Freon sprayer. This is, these are going to be the only two contrabands in the setup, eval and Freon, just these two, that's it. Uh, from here, you're going to want to place your ore roaster. Um, behind that, you're going to want to place a heat condenser. And then you're going to get a ramp. Just a small ramp. From here, get a flamethrower. Put it on the side. And then get your, sender, or your orange receiver. So, so far, this is what you should have. Your flamethrower should align at the edge of the base right there. 
If so, you're good. Now you're gonna want to get your, I believe it's repulsion device. Yep. You're gonna place it there. You're gonna get a ore winder. Place it after. And then you're gonna get a orbital. Orbital upgrader. Place it right up against it. Get a ore macrowave. Or portable macrowave. Place it right there. Scroll down, get your mini upgrader. Place it, and then you're gonna get a centering conveyor. Get four stoppers already. Start placing them. Let's put one here, and one here. I'm gonna just place one off to the side because I'm gonna need more in a second. You're gonna place a chirogenic upgrader after. Then you're gonna place a ore welder. Then you're gonna place a tracker. I'm gonna steal. No, actually, I can't steal that one. I'm just gonna leave it. Uh, you're gonna place a tracker. Doesn't matter which one it is, premium or shop. If you have premium, go ahead and use it because it's easier to see. Get a ore hoister. Get a recliner. After that, you're gonna get a spectral upgrader. Yes. Get ore zapper. My bad, I messed that up. You're gonna get a turn first. You're gonna get a left turn. So it's going to be a spectral, left turn, and then ore zapper. From there, get two mini conveyors, or tiny conveyors. Place them like so. Get a conveyor wall. One right there and one right here. And then you're going to get a hydraulic ramp upgrader. You're going to place it right there, up one. Then you're going to get a hydraulic centering, two of them, like that. You're going to place another one right here, and then you're going to get a ramp up. From here, place a unstable hydraulic, and then you're going to get your steamers, your ore steamer. Place it right there, and then from here, you're going to get a reversible conveyor. And then you're gonna get a orange sender. Now get two conveyors, doesn't matter which ones. I'm just gonna use military grade. You're gonna get triple coal mine, two of them. Place them right there. And then now I'm going to grab the portable ore stop where I put to the side. Place two right here up against the ore recliner and then two right here up against the turn. Here, I'm gonna grab an ion field. Place it right here. No, right here. Place it right there at the edge, right at the end of the hydraulic unstable. And then grab some wall segments. And then just place them up against it. You're gonna want to start. You're gonna want to place them kind of like this. Not perfect. So they're gonna have five of them right here. And it's gonna line up with the ore hoister. After the shop loop, you're gonna move on to the actual main setup part, the main upgrade line. To start, we're just gonna get a half conveyor, just to fill this little gap. And then we're gonna get a astral predictor or astral setter, the Evo. From here, we're gonna get a large conveyor ramp. Get another flamethrower. I'm gonna steal this one. Place it the furthest you can up the ramp. So, right there. Then we're gonna get three arrow gels. Three arrow gels. Place them right there. I'm gonna grab some tiny conveyors. I'm gonna place one facing this way. Well, two facing this way one this way, 
and then one right here. After that, we're gonna get a nuclear, nuclear chamber. Place it right there. After that, get an azure spore. From here, get a ore skillet. If I can place it, get an ore skillet. And then on top of the ore skillet, go ahead and place a anti-gravity receiver right in the middle. After that, get a fractured reality, place it there, and a virtual gear work, or virtual enhancer, not gear work, virtual enhancer, and we're getting an aura elevator, and place it right there. After that, at this turn, we're gonna place a pizza, pizza list, right at the edge, edge of the base. After that, we're gonna get some centering conveyors, Place two of them. I'm gonna get some conveyor walls. Then we're gonna place a true overlord device. Right there. Catalyst star, catalyzed star. After the catalyzed star, we're gonna place a shard park. After Shard Park, get a Banana Sunday. After that, get a Massive Diamond Clockwork, or Massive Diamond Quantum something, whatever it's called. Massive? Massive Diamond? Massive Quantum Diamond Cleaner. Long name. Get this, place it there, and then get a Quantum Clockwork. After that, get a teleporter of your choice. I'm going to be using the blue teleporter here. Get some wall segments. After you place the conveyor walls, go ahead and head over here, back to where the pizza list was, and get the receiver, blue receiver. I cannot spell for the life of me. Get the blue receiver, Go ahead and place one right here, and then another here, and then you can remove this one. So it should be five units away from the conveyor wall. From there, we're gonna get a ore ramp, or ore cannon. We're gonna get another flamethrower. Put it right here. Doesn't matter which side. And then we're gonna get a phase bombardment. After that, we're going to get a big Alberto. A frozen eclipse. Then a searing heat. That's the Evo. Get a searing heat after that, then we're going to put a turbine chamber. For a turbine chamber, we're gonna get a Freon. The father of Freon. Place it right there. Then we're gonna get a Atlantic Monument. Hades Palace. And then Tropical Breeze. From here, get a, another ore elevator. A green tea kettle. Then we're gonna get a raised conveyor, way up high conveyor, just a basic one. If you have an alien relic, feel free to use that here instead, uh, or anything that's a two unit way up high. From after, well, after that, we're gonna place a satellite beam. Then we're gonna place a vortex chamber. Place it so it's going on the right side of the conveyor. After that, we're gonna get a Newtonic Corroder. Place it right after. Then we're gonna get a Demon Core. Then a Sporist. And then we're gonna get a Deadly Spore. 
After that, get a mineral wheel. Get a ancient city. Yeah, ancient city. An ancient Colosseum. After that, get a conveyor of your choice. I'm just gonna use military again. Drop more coal mines right there. Two triple coal mines. And we're gonna get a combustion engine. After that, get a fire crystallized system. And then make sure you place it backwards so you can access the, the furnace part of it. Get a ramp down. Sorry, my bad. Not a ramp down. Get a... Or... A teleporter. Use a teleporter right there. Pink one. That's the last one I have, other than hydraulic. Then we're gonna get... I'm actually gonna put this aside. Then we're gonna get a ramp up. Hydraulic ramp. Place it right here. And then place the center at the end. Then just get some wall segments if you want. Or a wall. Just any sort of wall to put here. And that's the entirety of the main setup. Future Gilek here. Um, I forgot to mention too, you're going to want to feed ore to the ore skillet and the fire crystallized system. Um, go ahead and do that. Go to the other side and just get a receiver. Uh, get anti-grab receiver. Or not receiver, uh, sender. Get an anti-grab sender. Just place it anywhere. Same with the pink sender place two of the pinks and then for the pink one get some triple coal mines um place them right there and then for the anti-grav get two atomium mines then you can just place them like so and if you want to you can move them over here underneath the hydraulic receiver just place it right there and move the coal over here as well yeah that's should be everything now just forgot to mention that in the video that way you're actually powering the score skillet and fire crystallized system all that's left is to build a reset line so we're gonna go over here get the receiver i'm gonna place it right here i'm gonna lift it up two i believe i'm gonna lift it up three i'll do three right now then we're going to get a conveyor, centering conveyor. Then we're going to get a hydraulic duality. Place it right here, and then the other one immediately above it, right after. That way you hit the, the top beam first, and then the bottom. Okay, after the hydraulic dualities, you're going to want to get some free fall upgraders. I'm going to just place three to the side real quick. And then six grab them and then just place them right after this i believe right there yes you should you should be able to fit it under the hydraulic duality but not actually under it i'm gonna go ahead and just place one more right here right above it after that you're gonna want to get a um conveyor I'm going to suggest using a shielded conveyor for this, using two of them, one right here and another right there. So it should come out looking like this at the end. After that, I'm going to just go ahead and place an ore gate. You don't need to place the ore gate, but I'm just going to go ahead and place it. After this, go ahead and place the final upgrader. Right there. That's actually perfect. Wow. I didn't intend for it to line up, but it did. Yeah, so you should have you should have room to place the final upgrader. And then you can adjust everything else accordingly. After that, get a ramp. Large conveyor ramp. Large converter ramp. I'm gonna just place another to the side. Then we're gonna get some raised conveyors. Raise the mini conveyors, two of them. Place them right there. 
and then get a orange sender and place it right there. Grab a replicator. And place it like so. And I'm just gonna go ahead and duplicate this two extra times. After that, you can get a refeeder, Tesla refeeder. Place it right here. Also grab a half conveyor to fill this gap. I'm going to place them with the rest. Move one of the copies in front of the repeater. Grab a black dwarf after. Grab the other copy. And then place it right after. And then from here, if you have Vulcan's Wrath, feel free to use it. Well, Vulcan's Grasp, feel free to use it. Uh, just for a slight extra boost at the end. Uh, and then place whatever furnace you want to use. I'm going to use Anguish Guardian of the Gate. And that's the setup. Now, like I said, hopefully we're looping at the start because this is all the ores I have. Right here, after the whole setup. That's all I got. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just remove this sender, get rid of the excess ores, and I'm just going to run the ores through the setup, speed this up until I have Amphithium. Here, I should also mention too for this shop loop, go ahead and wait until the ore stoppers are blinking. These are going to take the longest out of everything here, I believe. Uh, so once these two start blinking, let the ores go through like one more time and then you can send them through to the actual setup. Okay, and there it is. Not even in the furnace. It's already worth inf. Um, it's pretty, pretty consistently inf. Um, I'm just gonna send it over through. Uh, but yeah, that's that's two K cent V three. Um, not much to say about it. It's probably the most consistent inf, or I guess consistent two K cent I've had. Um, as you can see, there's plenty of room to add more upgraders if you need to. This will likely be just like an exotic line if you have like birthday cake exotics. Because right now, as of uploading, that's the current event, ninth birthday. Um, so if you have exotics of any sort and you're in lacking like one of these upgraders or something, just use the normal non-evil version and then add like some exotics. But yeah, that's that's sent. Sent V3. I didn't think I was actually gonna make it. I doubt it's gonna last long. It might it might stay this way, honestly. Uh but I I would not be surprised if Sinister got nerfed to some degree. Um uh, because truly this this shouldn't be this shouldn't be possible. <laughs> this shouldn't be it's sent set up that this doesn't look like a scent setup, but it is. Um, so yeah, there's that. Here's a just overhead view of it. The entire setup. 
So yeah, that's two kiss on v3. Um, like I said, you can use this extra space for exotics if you want. Um, if you want, you can add like an actual like hydraulic upgrade or line. Use what stratospheric. You can use use any any sort of hydraulic item, any way up high, exotic or collectible. Anything that you might have that's not in this setup, feel free to use, but it won't make a difference as long as you're properly running this setup as is. Uh, so yeah, that, that scent. Probably most consistent scent I've made. Uh, I don't intend on making another. Uh, it's not going to be possible in third sack. No shot. 2k scent ends uh, after third sack. Uh, gonna have to figure out something for them. Well, yeah, there it is. 2k scent. Uh, yeah, bye.